Well, good morning and welcome to the big circus tent. We are under the big top here at Cirque du Soleil Totem because they have been in the city for about a week or so now and you guys still have a few a few weeks left of performances and here yes. to talk a bit about the production and the stage and the atmosphere here at Totem is Francis. Thanks so much for joining us here this Thank morning. Thank you for coming, Melissa. Now, I got to see the show absolutely amazed Thank by you. how this setup happens. You guys are basically under this massive circuit tent that you put together itself. Yes, it's a huge installation. You know, it takes eight days to set up our equipment when we arrive in a city. It's 65 trucks to move the city wow. from one city to the other, to move the show, sorry. Um, but you know, it's so intimate because mm -hmm. as soon as you step into the big tap, you forget about your reality right. and you let yourself be in awe in front of the acrobatics that are being performed and you're so close to the action. They're flying on top of you, walking next to you. It's an experience in itself. And that's exactly it. The show is very intimate. You were saying about 2,600 people it sits in yeah, to 600 people, but you never feel like no. it because there's no bad seat in the house. It's in the round and you're close to it. It's just amazing. And it's air conditioned, so you don't have to worry it's about air sweating. It's air conditioned for sure, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so talk a bit about the, the act itself, Totem, because it's kind of about the story of evolution. Yes, like you said, Totem is about evolution. So each act in the show represents a different aspect of either the evolution of the human body, the evolution of the human civilization, or the evolution that each human being will go through during his life. Okay. But we don't present it in a chronological order. It's very evocative. Right. So what you see is just 46 artists coming from all over the world performing skills that you've never seen before right. from indie cycles to an aerial act 40 feet in the air is just very impressive now what I think sets you guys you know apart from other acts is just the little details yes. and the production value I know the stage here is pretty pretty incredible in what it could do yes basically we're kind of pushing forward the lim limits of the big top for example so the stage you know there's traps there's parts that are moving up and down and um, there's a lot of aerial work as I was mentioning so there's a, a structure at the top that's called the turtle shell that okay. goes up and down 40 feet in the air but there's also wonderful video projections in it right and that's a huge aspect of the show now the stage itself there's holes so things come in and out like yes. you were saying as well, right? So the yes. artists know where to go because it's pretty dark in here. Yes, they know where to go. I mean, we've <laughs> done more than 1,200 performances now, so it's pretty well roaded, I would say. Right. Now, a big part of the show is the video production. So we're going to go over here and talk to Luke, who is in charge of lighting. Luke, talk about the video production aspect of the stage because this is pretty remarkable. So this part of the stage is what we call the marsh. It's more or less just a gigantic projection screen that we use. Uh, we have three projectors located uh, up on top of the big top yep. that project uh, an image across the stage that does everything from right. um, lava to swimming pools to uh, this pond that you see here. Right, and now I'm gonna go step on this pond. Do you wanna join me here? Because sure it's pretty cool with what it does. When we walk on it, you can see the water actually moves. So how do you make that happen? So there's a IR camera located above the stage that tracks uh, the position of people on the stage. And then that information is fed back to a computer that generates um, a basically a change with the content that follows people around the stage. So we have uh, live water, moving sand that also tracks with people. So you see footsteps as they walk across the sand. It's pretty incredible. Now, some of these images have been taken in pretty uh, cool locations as well, right? Yep. Uh, our lava is located from uh, Iceland in the eruptions in 2010. And then um, Guy Le Liberté, when he was in space, also took some space images that you'll see during the show. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for having us here this morning. It's kind of neat to, you know, to kind of gain more perspective on how this all works, because when you see it, you have no idea how technical it actually is. Well, that's part of the magic of Cirque du Soleil <laughs> is not is is going into experience it and not necessarily knowing what you're seeing. Exactly. So it get, leads you to believe and kind of explore for yourself. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us here this morning. When we come back. We're going to be doing some uh, performances. We're going to meet some of the artists on the stage. And I'm just going to continue on to play with this uh, water thing here. So stay with us. Lots more to come here from Cirque du Soleil. I'm Good Morning Live.